It's been a while since I've covered the topic of Gorilla Tech Ghost. In fact, it's been about five months. I love this topic of Gorilla Tech Ghost. In fact, I adore it. The main reason why I loved Gorilla Tech so much is because the concept of horror in such a friendly game. I often go in those lobbies and a bunch of people just like me looking for these ghosts in order to find them and possibly get them footage to post them on YouTube. It sucks that Gorilla Tech Ghosts haven't been as popular as recently, but maybe I can try and bring it back. A while ago, I made two videos talking about Gorilla Tech Ghosts. One of them explained Gorilla Tech Ghosts as a whole, and the other explained specific Gorilla Tech Ghosts. The ones I covered were PVB, Daisy09, Lost, and J3VU. In this video, we're going to be going over Echo, Banji, Warning Bot, and I don't know the last one yet. This was recorded at the start before I had the fourth one. Anyways, enjoy the video. Why did he look at me like that? Do you know Paul? Echo was a simple and friendly ghost. Well, sometimes. There are chances where Echo can be mad if there's situations of PvV or other hackers slash ghosts in the lobby. Echo seems to be attracted to those type and is more of on the protective type. It's known that Echo is a girl, so maybe somehow reference to a mom of the gorillas or something, trying to protect them from evil substances. I've heard so many theories about stuff and Echo. I've heard things about how it's maybe PVB's sister, PVB's mom, PVB's girlfriend. I, I've heard some crazy theories. Echo has very little knowledge known besides the fact that it's obviously some sort of good PVB trying to protect the players from, as you know, PvP and other hackers. Uh, Echo usually wears Sion and blue hats. Pretty simple. But low-key, Echo kind of copied my flow. Phone. He copied my whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Banshee is based off of an existing creepypasta urban legend somewhere in Russia, I believe. And Banshee is a ghost that will be outside of your window and will cry. And she will then uh, lure you, and if you go towards the window and look, she will scream. If you keep looking, then one of your family members will die soon. So, I guess it's sort of based off that, but not exactly, because this Banshee just does a loud siren and wants you to leave. The whole point of Banshee is that she wants you to go away. Because she wants you to go away, usually your game will crash, or you'll get banned, or if you don't leave in time, then yeah. Banshee's a pretty scary ghost, you know. Banshee usually wears the colors of a, well, Banshee can wear black, Banshee will wear a PvP type color, like turquoise, I don't know what exactly that color is, but that pinkish color that PvP wears, that's what Banshee wears as well, and that's pretty much it for Banshee, pretty simple ghost, but scary and dangerous one, um, and yeah. Okay, this one should be real easy. So basically, warning bots go into the lobby and they warn people about ghosts that are coming. Most of the time, it's PPP or JTVU. Those are pretty much the basic ones. Um, they have any color and they always will walk around the lobby. For They'll go through every map, I believe. Usually, they go through every map and warn everybody. And by the time they leave, they try and get out there before the bot actually comes. But some situations, they will end up staying. If the bot does end up in the lobby, they cannot leave. They cannot leave until the other ghost leaves or disconnects everyone or something. They stay in the lobby. And um, that's also how you can tell if it's fake. The warning bot will leave while the other ghosts are in the lobby. Another thing is that uh, 
and I think I already said this, but they usually try and get out before the ghost comes. They're really simple ghosts, and they usually play the normal audio I played at the start of this portion of the video. And they're really simple, but um, they're cool, honestly. I actually really like these ghosts. There's a lot of them, and they kind of just, like, they exist. They're like clones, I guess. There's no real reference. They're like stormtroopers, actually. Because, you know, there's a bunch of them, and they're kind of like the support kind of. They're kind of good at the same time as well. They're not super good, like, best friends, but they are good ghosts as far as I can tell. For the last portion of this video, instead of talking about a gorilla attack ghost, I want to talk about what is happening to gorilla attack ghost. So basically, as it's going on, gorilla attack ghosts are slowly and slowly dying off. It's like they don't exist anymore. I feel like most people have figured out that they're fake and all, but at the same time, I just wish more people would invest into this topic. There are still many Gorilla Tag Ghost lobbies that exist and are alive as always, but it feels like this theme I love so much is gone and depleting. This is also the reason why I've slowly decided to uh, detach myself away from Gorilla Tag. My last few videos have been Gorilla Tag related, but at the same time, I only make them when an update comes out. I don't necessarily have a good idea for Gorilla Tag. I don't have many good ideas anymore to be honest i'm going to obviously keep uploading and this isn't a cry for help or something i'm not gonna stop youtube now and in fact i just begun i've only started my channel only six months ago well technically i only started this part of the channel a few months ago but i hope that this topic can be brought back in some sort of way with the new ghost and new new something i i would always love to create my own ghost and honestly i i would love that that would be really cool and fun and then people would go in games and do it for me but um that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching me and listening to me rant uh i think that's it and uh that'll be all bye guys